Well, Britain's newest little royal had to wait three weeks, but waiting was worth it. Now, officially, she's named. Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana of Cambridge was christened Sunday, surrounded by close family and hundreds of strangers. But hey, the strangers were adoring fans, so it was nice. The private ceremony was steeped in popular British tradition. And joining us now is royal contributor Victoria Arbiter. Victoria, great to see you today. I am enamored with the pictures <laughs> of this family. They are just so sweet and so, it just seems so loving to see them out and about like this. What I loved actually is one of the reporters who was on the ground yesterday said it felt like a throwback to a 1950s movie set with Kate pushing the pram and, and William holding George's hand. George's little outfit, of course, was, was quite old fashioned. It was a, a reminiscent outfit to what uh, William wore to meet Prince Harry in the hospital in 1984. But yes, you're right. This is what the British public turned out to see it's the royal family doing what they do best. And that christening gown, is that um, a heritage gown? It is, it really is. So the, the deal with the gown, in 1841, a christening gown was designed for Princess Victoria, the first child of Prince Albert and Queen Victoria. That gown was worn by every royal baby up until 2004 when it was simply deemed too fragile for further use. And so a replica was made by the Queen's personal dresser. It is exactly the same, made with the same lace, the same design. That was first worn by Lady Louise uh, no, excuse me, Viscount Seven, who is Prince Edward's oldest uh, li little boy. And he is, uh, it's been worn by every royal baby since and, and will be into the future. Oh, she is such a sweet little baby. Um, and I saw the picture where little Prince George is peeking <laughs> up over the yeah. pram. Talk a little bit about the parenting that goes into this because I have, uh, I mentioned to you, I have twins who are just a few days younger than Prince George. And it looks to me uh, like you're running a risk. If you're out there with an uh, a almost two year old trying to hold a hand, things could really go wild. And instead, he's so well behaved. They must be perfect parents. There's really, you've got to wonder what's going on, don't you? Because you run the risk when you go out with a with a child of anything happening, you know, in the supermarket, hands down, um, face plants. So yes, it was really quite impressive what we were seeing. Prince George <laughs> at one point shook hands with the Archbishop of Canterbury. No. I mean, so we're really seeing impeccable manners for a child that's not even two yet. William and Kate, they were very hands-on parents. They, they've been fortunate because William is only second in line to the throne. They've been able to spend a lot of time with their children. They have a nanny that was trained by Norlan College, one of the most prestigious nanny schools in the world. But she's there to really instill the philosophies of the parents. She's not there cracking the whip. So this is a team effort. Okay, and then back to George, because I, again, I'm fascinated with him. Um, the little red shorts and the yes. little collared shirt. And you mentioned it, it looks like a throwback. Where do they even find these clothes? I'm looking for these clothes for the little boys. I can't find those clothes well, anywhere. You're out of luck on this one too, because apparently it's sold out this morning. So this was a <laughs> brand new outfit. It retailed at 85 pounds. Is, is that his dad? No, no, that's, yes, that is. That's William. That's William on his way to meet Harry at the hospital in 1984. It is not exactly the same outfit, but it looks like it. And of course, everyone jumped the, the conclusion that it was because at Trooping the Color a few weeks ago, George was wearing the same outfit that his own father had worn at the balcony at Buckingham Palace. And so there are these lovely little throwback moments. I love that. Boy, and you can really see that he's taking after his father in those pictures too. Such yeah. a beautiful day. And I don't know why we're so fascinated with these little babies, but we certainly are. Victoria, thank you for coming in and thank giving you. us some insight.